it is me, Rogu the Anim, and here to help you to upload your custom VRChat levels R2 VRChat. Yay! This is actually part of a tutorial series for Zig the Goat. However, you can use this video as a reference on uploading any VRChat avatar. Now, before I get started, I need to clarify one thing. Unfortunately, you, will, you won't be able to upload an avatar or a world until you don't reach at least new user trust level inside of VRChat. If you're still on visitor level, you have to spend some more time, make friends, hang out in different worlds before you get to new user level, and when you reach that, then you will be able to upload an avatar. Another thing is that you need a VRChat account for, to be able to upload an avatar. If you only have a Steam account connected with VRChat, then you have to first link it to an, a VRChat account. So like create a VRChat account and, and link your Steam account there, here in under account link, like it guides you how to do it. All right, let's get started. But firstly, you're going to need to know what you're gonna need, of course. You will need Creator Companion, Unity, and Poyomi Shader is optional, if you, but if you want like a nice cartoony style, I can recommend it. And of course, you're going to need your avatar. I will show you where to get all of this. So, you open a browser, go to VRChat's website and log in. And when you're logged in in your portal, you go to download and then under creator companion, download the creator companion. And then you install it or whatever. Now, the Poyomi shader. So, you just sh you just uh, write Poyomi shader into Google, but I will link it. I will leave a link in the description to this. So you go down, download the latest Unity package, and you press this link. I already have it, so I will not do it. Okay, then you open Creator Companion. If you already have Unity installed, it should be able to automatically find it. But if it doesn't, you, can, uh, you should get the option to show it the path. The, like where, where to find it, but if you don't have Unity installed, it should give you the option to directly download and install using uh, the companion thing here, so it should help you. However, if it would not, and you would you would find it difficult, or because sometimes it's buggy and I had I experienced some weird bugs from this, you can do it manually very easily. So I will leave a link to this. Uh, in the description as well, but if you if you write in the Google VRChat Unity or VRChat Unity version or whatever, it's usually the first result. And then in here, under current Unity version, uh, there is the link to the version. This right now, as I'm making this video, it's uh, 2019.4.31f1 is the version this may change over time. So you press it and it will take you to the Unity's website where you can download it. It's for free. You can have it for Windows, Mac, Linux. You download it and install it. Then you uh, restart Creator Companion. If it doesn't automatically find it, then you go into Settings and then you press the little folder icon here and you navigate to Unity.x XE file. Now we have it all. It's time to create a new project. You press avatar and then in here you write the whatever title you want it to give and then create new project and then you open project. This will take some time. The Make yourself a cup of tea, or coffee, or mineral water, or whatever you want, and relax. Okay, uh, it finally opened. Now, if you have ever watched any older avatar uploading tutorial, you would know that now would be the time to put in the SDK, but you don't have to do that anymore because the company on thing uh, puts it in for you. All you need now to put in is the Poyomi shader, if you want to use it, of course and then the avatar. 
So of um, here when it asks you imports, you don't press anything else. So this is gonna take some time as well. It has downloaded in the Poyomi shader. Next, we drag in the avatar. So here, uh, you, you select Zig 1.2. This is the package that you need to put in. I will also show how to do the quest as well, but first with the PC. Here too, you press, uh, you don't you don't really touch anything here, just press import. It's gonna take some time, so grab another coffee, watch an episode of your favorite Netflix show, and then see you in a bit. Now, here we are, it has imported. Of, like, if, if you use any other avatar, it depends on, on the avatar and how they've set it up. But in, in Zig's case, you go to into the Zig folder and double-click the scene. Many avatars will have it the same, but some avatars will be model folder or whatever. And uh, you have to like drag and drop in there. They will probably tell you how it's done. In this uh, example, I'm gonna use the goat. It's gonna work with any of the other ones. I will put in here the uh, texture we created in the previous tutorials for this avatar specifically. Where the f is it? Put the texture in, in the asset folder. But if you wanna be a little more uh, clean, then look for the folders that is specifically made for textures. For example, for the goat is in the goat and then textures. I'm gonna put it in here, so I'm dragging it and dropping it in here directly. And there it is, we made this very ugly texture. I just didn't really care, don't mind me. So now we want to, of course, add this to the material. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, we also had to export the, the fur material, so that is here. This is the fur. So now I will look for the materials. For, in Zeke's case, inside of the goat uh, folder or the dare folder, whatever you do, it's, there's gonna be a material. And I have set up a standard one and the Poyomi. Standard is just a basic Unity shader, but if you want to use Poyomi... Why? Technical errors. <laughs> okay, uh, it's purple <laughs> because I used an older Poyomi shader. So you just select it, and up here you go to Poyomi, and then, I don't know, Poyomi 7.3, Poyomi Tune, and there, there it is. So you just do the same thing with all of the others. So now they are fixed, and uh, the avatars in Zeke's case, they, are, they have the standard shader material on automatically, so if you want to use the Poyomi shaders, you, have to, you will have to drop them in, but first, let's add the textures. You select the material, you go up here and press that little lock icon to lock it in there, so now when you press away, it will always stay open. Then you navigate to the texture, and uh, then press the texture, drag it, and drop it into the main texture here, and uh, boom, that's it. And uh, in case you want to use the standard material, uh, you unlock it so you can press something else. So material standard, and I press Zig here, this is just a little bit different, because the emission color also has the material, also has the texture. So I'm locking it, and I put in the texture into the albedo here, so that's the main color. But I also put it into the emission in here. So now you can see immediately, because the, this avatar has these materials on. Now, uh, I will continue with the Poyomi shader. So I will just continue so. So this was Zig. Now on the tail, I lock it again. Textures. And I'm going to drop in here the tail, I mean the, the fluff texture. The fluff and the tail is the same thing. And you do it with the rest. And with any avatar, you do it the same way. This is how you will have to change the textures on the materials of that avatar as well. Oh, 
Okay, I have changed the textures in every one of them. You don't have to touch the eyes top. And then this is the earring. You just uh, go, go into the color and then press here and choose whatever color you want. And the same with the standard. The standard as well, earring. In next to our battle here, you change it. Okay, so we also have the emission. You have to change the color here as well. Okay, so right now Zig is still having the standard materials. So I'm gonna drag and drop these on. Zig goes on to main mesh. The tail, you have to drag it in on the tail like that. The nose goes in here. This also will differ for other avatars. The hooves need to go on the hoof here and on the horns separately. Okay, that's that's actually it. You change the texture on the Zig avatar. Now, if you want, you can also edit the, a bit the body here before uploading him. You press the goat, open it up, and you press body, and then here on the right side, he press blend shape, and you're gonna see all the uh, custom blend shapes this avatar comes with. Many avatars will come with these custom shapes, so whatever you're using, it might have these as well. So in, in a Zeke's case, on their uh, body changes, you can change uh, his body. Uh, the eyes crossed, for example, if you want to have him a little more cartoony like my avatar, you can make more uh, feminine. You can also make the beard disappear. So there's like pointy muzzle, smaller, the ears round. Oh yeah, one thing with the ears, if you change the ears, like big ear or round ear, if you do those changes, then you have to also press the... And then on the earring, you put the same amount in ears round or ears big as you put on the body. So for example, if you put 100 in ears round, you put 100 in ears round here as well. Like if you don't want goat horns at all, but there's also gonna be slider, you can turn them off, on or off. Okay, so now we made a Zig ready to upload. Uh, I would recommend you to turn off any other avatar in the scene, because sometimes they can bug a bit the SDK. So in VRChat SDK, you press show control panel, and you log in here with your VRChat account, and then you press sign in. And then you go into Builder, if you see any red exclamation marks like this one, it will usually give you an autofix option, so you just press it. This one is just, it just doesn't really like that the avatar has an audio, funny goat or deer or cow sound effect, but it shouldn't be bothered. So you can either just build and test, it will upload your avatar only locally. So this is just for like testing, but if you're ready to fully publish it for yourself, then you have to press build and publish for Windows. And uh, this is something I uh, sometimes happens with Poyomi shader. It just uh, pressing yes, it it will it, it shouldn't cause any issue for the avatar itself. So now you wait a bit. So now uh, this is what you should see. You can move this away if it's in the way. You just have to give your avatar a name, and some kind of description. And in the sharing, if you're not making a public avatar, make sure that this is set to private, or else if it's public, then anyone can use it. And maybe you don't want that with your own persona, then you press this. If you want to have a different thumbnail here, you go back to scene, like this, so this is the camera, you can move this to one of these images if you want, or you can create your own image and put it in here, or you can uh, go up there and move your avatar, like whatever change you're doing here, unless you're deleting something, just don't delete anything, but only just moving it around, it's not going to change the avatar itself. It's just uh, temporarily. It will it will go back to normal position once uh, you are out of the game mode. Let's say I'm happy with this, perfect, and then I hit upload, and it's going to upload to your VRChat account. Everybody's going to see it, and boom, it's done. It's uploaded.
Before we check it out inside of VRChat, I wanted to also show something on the tear and the cattle. If you're working with any other avatar that is not Zig, you're, you're done now. So the cattle has three different horns. So in order to change the horn, you have to, of course, open it up. And under here, you're gonna see uh, cattle horn one, two, three. You just uh, turn on one that you want and of course for the horn material if you want different material you have to drop the material on those horns as well and now with the deer the deer has a little bit different with the uh, antlers he comes with five antlers or uh, open up the deer here and an armature uh, hips spine chest neck head and there it is, antlers. You open that one up and there are five different antlers you can switch around. It works differently from the cattle because the, each antler has its own material. Meanwhile, the cattle horn has... They all have... They are all sharing the same material. You just go to standard or poiomi and here too it's purple because you have to set it up. The names of the materials are respective to the antlers of the deer. So, Antler 3 gonna have uh, Antler 3 material, so this is the material it has to have. You just turn on the one that you want, you can even delete the rest, and I would recommend you to delete the others. This will uh, decrease the size of the model. Now if I go into SD SDK, I can see uh, overall performance used to be poor, but now it's medium because I deleted those extra antlers that we don't need anyway. In case you will change your mind and you say like, oh, never mind, I want a different antler. Don't worry, uh, just go to the antlers, you select one that you like, and you drop it directly on Zig there. Not inside the armature, not on the head, just Zig there. And boom, now it's correctly put on him. And then you drag it again, and now you put it under the antlers. And you can now delete the other one. And uh, you're going to see, uh, the, I left the radial menu just in case for antler switching. You're going to still see it, but you won't be able to switch antlers because you deleted all the other antlers. So don't worry, that's why. So that's just a side note I wanted to mention. But let's now check out Zeke inside of VRChat. Here we are inside of VRChat. Now uh, let's select the avatar that we just uploaded. If you have uploaded it uh, only locally, you're going to find your avatar in other and with the name of the model that you have inside of Unity. There it is, Zig Red, and there he is, the retextured avatar of yours. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in any way. If you have questions, feel free to contact me, I will try to help you. Not only with Zeke, but I gladly try to help with other avatars too, but I would recommend you to contact the maker of your avatar. So, uh, see you in another one. Meh! Now I'm going to show how to upload your avatar to Quest. Zig comes with a Quest compatible ready to upload Unity package, but if your avatar did not come with a Quest compatible version at all, I will leave a link in the description for a very good tutorial I used to learn how to do all of this by myself. So this tutorial is for people using Zig or any other avatar that comes with a Quest compatible version of their model. So, I'm gonna start from a brand new Unity project, but depending on the avatar you have, you may have to do it from your PC project and then convert it to Quest. In that case, I highly recommend you to save a backup of your project. So, I will just drag and drop the Unity package that is called Quest Zig 1.2, if your avatar even comes with one, and then uh, import everything. Okay, so now it imported everything. This specific project comes with an already ready scene for the quest version, but uh, in some cases your avatar may either come with a prefab that will like look similarly to this and then you have to drag it and drop it into the scene, 
or it will just come with um, with the FBX and then also you have to drag it in. But then in that case you will have to set everything up manually. So I'm in the scene now and I just select really any of the characters, it doesn't really matter. I go to show control panel, you log in, so you select any of the character and then you uh, press here switch build target to Android and uh, confirm. In case you wouldn't be able to switch target to Android, that could be because maybe the model is not in, not uh, not installed for you in Unity, so you will have to search it up. It's done! You of course want to change the textures, depending on which avatar you're interested in retexturing. Go to the material and drag in your new texture that you have made. Uh, you select the material. In Quest you can only have one material, so it's not as complicated as in PC. Drag and drop in the new texture in here. Wow, my character looks really emo here. And then that's it. You can actually now upload it. If you want to switch, for example, the antlers or the on the cow, the horns, you can uh, open it up here and select body on the right side here under blend shapes. You go down and here are like the offs. Usually here you're going to find the switching. So for example, for Rachel the reindeer, I want to have the reindeer antler. So antler 4 is the reindeer one. I also don't want earrings, I turn it off here. So now uh, you're ready to upload. You select the other avatars and you turn them off. You can also here on the position, you can uh, from 4 or 2 or whatever, you can change it to 0 so it's on the center. And then you go to VR chat, SD key, show control panel, blah blah blah. Again, if you see any red exclamation mark, just hit auto fix. Before you build and publish the Android, uh, you will need to have the same ID as on the PC version, if you have uploaded the PC version, of course. So you go to the content manager and you look for the avatar that you have uploaded to PC and you just press copy ID and then uh, you select the avatar and under pipeline manager it's probably going to look actually empty for you but uh, if, if it would have any number just press detach and now you press ctrl V and there is the number of the PC and attach. Now it has the exact same ID number as the PC and you can go and build publish for Android now. Having the same ID number will make sure that if you are playing on PC any Quest user who sees your avatar is going to see uh, this. For example if I'm using Rachel Reindeer avatar on PC any Quest user friend of mine you're going to see uh, the Quest version instead. You can also check use for fallback. If anyone turns on uh, safety settings on VRChat, they set it to lower quality or, uh, safety level. In that case, they also going to see this Quest version. If you have the same ID number, the same image is going to appear here as is. The PC version, same name, same description. So don't touch any of this actually. And then just the above information is good, okay, upload. And now it's uploaded to Quest. And as I said, it might be different from avatar to avatar, depends on how it comes. If your avatar comes with any documents or tutorials, I would suggest you to refer to that anyway. Bye.